how people interact with discomfort is their emotional patterns, obviously. They're very strongly reinforced and they're completely subconscious. And we don't manage it successfully. And because of the way the brain works, because of the type of systems that are involved in this process, we don't actually notice how we can fall into a dynamic that kind of shuts down our abilities. So I'm just going to give you a really quick example of a team of two, right? And this is not actually true. I'm very happily married. But just to illustrate, say that in my professional life, I can be very assertive and very um, clear about my boundaries. And then when I go home, because of the interaction with my husband, which I experience as threatening on some level, which I don't, but just for the sake of the example, okay, something inside of me shuts down subconsciously. This is happening not, I'm not aware this is happening. This, if you now expand it, happens in teams completely subconsciously. So people don't actually realize they're once they've walked into a team space that they're not behaving as quote unquote their real self. And the systems that are moderating this, they're not actually conscious. So it's very hard to just decide, okay, we're going to interact with each other in a respectful and um, inclusive manner. That's it's not a decision that we can make consciously. We have to change our patterns subconsciously. 